friends and family, today is July 9, 2015 and I find myself in the northern section of Manhattan. I'm in Washington Heights and on this video I want to talk to you about a very interesting work of art that is on display on a local business here. It's an interesting example of guerrilla art. Guerrilla art is very unique, it's very size specific. Um, it, it defines some very interesting elements of the place where it's installed. The work is displayed on the storefronts of Punta Cana restaurant located on 162nd Street and Broadway Avenue. At uh, this restaurant you can get very good quality Dominican food without paying exorbitant boutique prices. They've been operating for 27 years and are facing a potential eviction due to that the buildings where they are located was sold not long ago for 31 million dollars. The new owners have reorganized their rent contracts requiring these businesses to pay double the rent they were paying before. Unfortunately, many other businesses had to close. Using guerrilla arts as a consciousness builder, the owner of Punta Cana and an organization helping them in legal proceedings are letting patrons and people passing by know that they are having a gentrification in progress sale. The imagery used is exaggerated and reflects on the process of gentrification this neighborhood is going through and echoes similar situations in other parts of New York City. In this imagery you see a futuristic revamping of the restaurant and has been renamed Casa de Campo restaurant. The economics behind this change is very unfair, not only to the businesses but also to the communities they serve. Regardless if the owners were able to comply with new rent contracts, the result would be a shift in how the community they serve would experience them. Posters installed reflect this shift. Menos por más pesos means less for more. Increasing rent would result in increase in price. On this poster to the right, you see very exaggerated prices and diminutive quantities of food. If you come and get a mangu here, you basically get a you get a big plate, and you just basically pay anywhere from five to seven dollars, depending on the size that you get. If you get salami, which is uh, this over here, the round the red, and uh, cheese as well, and the mangu is basically smashed bananas, and you can see it only a very small bit over there. So, uh, celebrity chef made shinde mangu for thirty dollars and ninety nine, and this is very powerful for a lot of restaurants in sections like Harlem are operated by celebrity chefs, and that makes them the more attractive. People from all over the world go to these restaurants just for the particular experience that they'll be getting from that particular celebrity chef. Since the demographic being displaced would not be able to afford Casa de Campo, they would have to provide the services the new demographic perhaps expects and or is accustomed to. You can see this dynamic reflected on this poster detailing an $11.99 corkage fee for drinks. This is a fee that some restaurants charge for opening and serving you a drink you yourself bring to their restaurants. The fact of the matter is that the new incoming demographic is worlds apart from the reality of the current population. The economic difference between the two, aided by current legislature, results in changes that usually side with the group that enjoys greater economic freedom. You can support the existence of small businesses like Punta Cana by telling our current mayor Bill de Blasio to please support the Bill de Bodega and as a result preserve the authentic cultural character of communities like Washington Heights in Upper Manhattan. You can also log on to buildthebodega.com and take action from there. You can help bring balance to this reality. Alright my friends, that's gonna be it for today's short video vlog. Thank you for your attention. For more videos, log on to 5vguy.com and uh, if you have a Facebook account, join the Public Art Worldwide Facebook group to connect with the world using creative expression displayed in the public spaces of the metropolitan centers of the world.